Hi Wayne, it's Steve here from Woof. Um, I'm glad you could spend some time with me today just to talk a little bit about your business and about some of the customer cars that you've been dealing with and modifying and installing Woof systems on. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of Toyota Supras, um, the Mitsubishi Evolution, the regular DSM and um, the Rotaries. Okay, so what type of motorsport are you mainly involved with? Yeah, I'm mainly involved in um, drag racing. You know, I have a few road racing cars, but the majority of my customers are, you know, drag racers. Or there's also, you know, just having a fast car, you know, you know, for the street. So can you give me some examples of some of the, I guess, some of the more exotic or the faster of the drag racing cars that you're talking about? Okay, for example, I have um, Rafael Mercado. He has a, a nine-second Toyota Corolla with a 2JZ motor um, that's turbocharged. It's a bone stop motor. But we were able to, you know, crank out some good power. We were like 30 pounds of boost with a small shot of nitrous just, just to get it off the line. And he's able to run, you know, a nine-second flat pass at 149 mile per hour. And then there's also um, Romeo Allen. He has a, a RX-7 as well. And he's able to run nine threes on the quarter mile. Okay. And is Romeo running nitrous? No, he, no that's, that's all motor. You know, just turbo alone. No, no nitrous. No nitrous, Okay. And on Ralphie's car, um, I know that he's running almost a flat nine now. Um, what sort of quarter mile time is he going for? Well, he's looking for eight second pass. Um, he plans to do some more work to the motor because his motor's bone stock does have like um, ARP studs. You know, he plans to you know, you know, get some cams, some rods, pistons, and you know, we'll definitely turn the boost up maybe like 45 pounds and you know, increase the nitrous. So his, uh, his Corolla with a 2J is running a totally stock bottom end? Yes, totally stock bottom end. And top end too, really? Yeah, top end as well. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty amazing. Uh, Ralphie must be very excited about that, I guess. Not too many guys have actually, you know, I mean, this guy, he, he runs consistently also. You know, his car is always at the track. You know, he has like a book of time slips where his car is consistent and reliable. Okay, so, and you said you had some circuit racing cars. Can you tell me a bit about those? I know you don't have as many, but um, they're, they're still cars that you work on. I have a, a Porsche, um, a Porsche, you know, fit with a, a 13B Mazda Rotary um, as well. In addition to that, I have a, a Markor XR4Ti that originally came with the Ford 2.3 turbocharged motor. Um, we took that out to put in the, the Ford Cobra 32 valve V8 turbocharged as well. You know, so I have both of those guys, you know, running on um, on the road courses. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. Now, when you deal with your customers, do you basically just supply Componentry, or do you oversee the whole project? Not definitely, you know, oversee the entire, you know, project, you know, from the start to end. You know, I try to interview the customer and find out exactly what their goals are, and then it'll make my job easier because then I could know where we're actually headed to and, you know, advise them the best that I could advise them. Sure, sure. So, do you also work with workshops around your area? I know you're in New York, but do you deal with workshops around the, the New York State area, for example? No, definitely. You know, most most of my customers are pretty much shop owners. You know, and I do, do a lot of business with you know other performance shops as well as shops out of New York State as well. You know, so I'm pretty much an all around guy. Okay, great. Now you've been a Wolf dealer for a long time. I think it's been about ten years. Is that correct? Yes. And how did you get into it originally? Well, I started out as a, as a customer. Um, you know, in the mid '90s, you know, I had a RX-7. You know, a friend, you know, told me about the Wolf. You know, I decided to give it a shot because he had one on his 3000 GT. And I put a Mark 7, loved it. And ever since I've been promoting the product, you know, I really liked it. It just a lot of friends. And before you know it, I was a dealer as well. I noticed on your website, on the waynespeed.com website, that basically uh, everything has a roof on it, um, which is quite amazing. Oh, oh yeah, no, definitely. Like I said, I, I love the Wolf. It has, you know, solid hardware. You know, I, I, you know, I haven't had a Wolf that had, like, you know, check the driver issues, and you know, they're not able to do the things I wanted to do. Right? You know, as a tuner, you definitely want to ease you and do what you tell to do, and not have a mind of its own. So that's important to, you know, for me, number one. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and one other thing I wanted to mention was uh, I wanted to thank you for helping out one of our Australian dealers uh, when he was looking for some componentry out of the U.S. And uh, a lot of our dealers do work together on that. Um, what was it that you found for one of our dealers over here in Australia? No, but this was just um, you know, going over you know different setups and how to manipulate the wolf around you know different engines. 
you know. So it was some just basically, you know, experience, you know, taught me. And it's a good thing that, you know, our dealers group always talk to each other and learn from each other. And in the end, the customer will benefit. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And uh, you've been doing some online training with uh, some of the other US dealers and uh, Robbie from Wolf here in Australia uh, just recently. How did that go? No, it works, works very well because, um, you know, we're, we're all online together. You know, we're able to see the computer screen as Robbie's going through different stuff in the software and just showing us how powerful, you know, the unit really is, like the V500. It may not lift a lot of stuff that you could do with it, but it's very, very flexible. It's a very powerful tool. Excellent, excellent. Okay, Wayne, thanks very much for your time. We really appreciate it, and uh, we'll be speaking to you soon and uh, keep those performance cars coming. No problem. Thanks, for Always nice. You know, always a pleasure. Nice talking to you, Steve. Bye. Okay, thanks, Wayne. Bye-bye.